America sure does have a fascination with the car. I know I certainly do. I've been in the car business for over 20 years, and today is going to be a special day. Stay tuned. So today's the day that I finally tell you guys whether or not I bought a Tesla, and the answer is yes. So I bought a Tesla Model S about a month ago, bought it used, we took it in on trade at the dealership I work at, the only reason I was able to afford it because these things are super expensive. Where do I even start this video? <sighs> Alright, well, today, the Tesla was involved in an accident. You know, it's funny, we just went all the way down to Ocean City, Maryland, all the way back, got there safely, nothing happened, got all the way home, nothing happened, I'm five miles away from home, and someone hits me. So basically, I'm driving down the road, right, minding my own business, maybe five miles away from home driving down this car pulls out right pulls in front of me comes off the uh, ramp on ramp and i slow down getting over in the left lane i'm like dude what's up i actually didn't get all mad and aggravated i learned that's not the way to be so quarter mile up the road i'm driving i'm driving i'm driving another on ramp comes i see this car sitting there right she i see her i see the lady She's just sitting there, she's looking, waiting to merge with the road. She's dead stop. All of a sudden, I drive by her. She pulls out and hits me. Today, the Tesla became a Tesla sandwich. Everybody's like, you're okay, germ. That's the most important thing, and they're right. You know what, the car's repairable, no airbags deployed, and everybody walked away from the accident. No one, uh, no, actually, believe it or not, even everybody drove their own car away, which is pretty incredible. But then there's the damage. Looks good, right? Looks good. All right, here's where it starts right here. Here's where it starts, the fender. So what happened was when that lady pulled out, she pulled out on the other side, she hit the other side. This side right here, she pushed me into a Mazda CX-7. So we're guessing what happened because this guy had no damage on his vehicle. It was basically two small SUVs, a Chevrolet Captiva, and a Mazda CX-7. She pushed me into that other vehicle that I had previously avoided getting an accident with. He was now on my right side, and that was a quarter mile back, and she pushed me into that vehicle, damaged the other side, and pushed it into this side. This guy had no damage on his Mazda. We're guessing what happened was he cocked the wheel a little bit, and when he cocked the wheel, it must have hit the fender because this is a car, not an SUV. Damaged this fender, popped the bumper out, which the uh, clips are broken, this, I'm guessing, all this is all tire mark because it actually goes all the way from down here all the way up to here. Damaged the wheel right there, which isn't too bad. The front of the bumper, there's basically no damage on it. And then the lady that pulled out, this is the damage she did. See all these scrapes? I know they're probably hard to see. All these scrapes here, you can see the Tesla directional, the side directional marker that's uh, broken. My mirror is broken. I'm going to show you guys the side damage first. So there's all that. Okay, there's the mirror. I'm going to save the worst part for last. Okay, mirror's glass didn't break, which is surprising. Just hanging out there. I could probably pop that back in. Okay, Oops. a little more scratch. It's hard to see from this angle, but there is actually a big... You guys can probably see it with the reflection. There is a big dent right there. Then, here's what happened. Here's the worst part right here. Oh, that hurts. I don't know what grabbed onto this on her vehicle, but these are made out of aluminum. So if you ever ripped open a uh, soda or beer can, this is very jagged, very sharp. It just ripped and peeled back. And I don't know what 
this grabbed onto, but it grabbed onto something and it's all ripped back. So that's kind of nuts, you know? But you know what? Everybody's okay. Now here's the bad news about Tesla accidents. They have to go to certified Tesla auto repair facilities. From my understanding, there's three of them in the state. So I heard that they could get quite backed up on work and this could take a while just to fix that little bit of damage. So what I'm gonna do is park this thing and not drive it until it gets fixed. So the original guy who almost hit me was coming up this road here. Right here is a yield sign. I was traveling on Route 9 in this slow lane right here. He pulled out, he never stopped, he never saw me. The reason I found that out is because later we collided. So he's driving, I move over to the right lane, we continue driving, I put my arms up and wave them in disbelief. We drive all the way down here. All the way down here, I'm on the right lane the whole entire time. That lady is, where's that on ramp? That lady came off the Mid-Hudson Bridge right off here, down this ramp. Now there's a lot of accidents here. Usually they're bumpers here. I've actually got an accident here before. Never have I had this happen though. I'm driving down here, the CX-7's next to me in the, in the left lane, I'm in the passing lane. She's totally stopped. All of a sudden, when I get to her, she starts moving. That's when we collide. My car ends up, we come to a stop over here. She parks her car here. The police later have us come around and park her cars right about here. This location is notorious for fender benders. It happens all the time. In fact, like I said, probably about 10, 15 years ago, I was in an accident coming off that same very ramp when I had come to a stop waiting to merge with traffic and the car behind me hit me. Um, they happen, I, I can almost guarantee you it's daily. Why they have not changed this intersection at this point, I have no idea. Poughkeepsie, New York State, fix the intersection at Mid-Hudson Bridge. This thing is ridiculous, it's old, it needs to be replaced. All right guys, well on the germ, like, share, subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted and updated on the outcome of this. I called her insurance company already. I'm waiting for a response back, so uh, they said it could take 24 hours. Uh, the insurance company, my insurance company said from my description, it seemed like her fault. The lady admitted fault, and the other vehicle had no damage. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.